another meaning of subtraction. How many more carrots are there than rabbits? Two. The butterflies are fewer than the flowers. By how many? Three. The number five is three more than two. It means that five equals two plus three. The number two is three less than five. It means that two equals five minus three. The relationship between addition and subtraction. How many more steps are there to climb? Seven plus five equals twelve. Twelve minus seven equals five. Some more examples. Eight plus seven equals fifteen. Fifteen minus eight equals seven. Nine plus nine equals eighteen. Eighteen minus nine equals nine. Twelve plus eight equals twenty. Twenty minus eight equals twelve. Subtraction by counting forward. Four are to be taken away from nine, so count forward after four and make one dot for every number after four till nine. Total number of dots equals five. Therefore, nine minus four equals five. Eight are to be subtracted from twelve, so. Count forward after eight, making one dot for each number after eight till twelve. Total number of dots equals four. Hence, twelve minus eight equals four. Subtraction. To subtract twelve from twenty-five. From two tens and five units, take away one ten and two units. Subtracting by striking off the correct number of tens and units. First, take away four units from six units. Write the remainder in the units place of the answer. Now. Subtract one ten from three tens, and write this difference in the tens place of the answer. Say, for example, if we have to subtract two from nine, we will proceed as shown. Write the bigger number nine. Draw nine dots besides nine. Put minus sign. To left of nine. Write the smaller number two below nine. This is the vertical arrangement of the numbers. Do not draw any dots besides the number two. But, as shown, cancel or score out these two dots from the nine dots. Now. Count the remaining dots. There are seven dots. Hence, the answer is nine minus two is equal to seven. Now, let's learn how to subtract a smaller number by using the given table. See the table alongside. The first number in the row is. Nine from a bigger number, 
by using the given table. See the table alongside. The first number in the row is 9 from 9. Subtract the first number in the column, that is 1. For this, draw 9 dots and then score out 1 dot. We have 8 dots remaining. So, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Write 8 in column below 9 as shown. Similarly, the next number in the row is 8. From 8, subtract the same number in the column 1. We get 7. Write 7 below 8 as shown. Thus, subtract 1 from each number in the first row. The answers are as shown. Next, subtract 2 from each number in the first row, starting from 9. Similarly, proceed by subtracting all numbers in the column from all the numbers in the row. See the completed table alongside. Now let's see how to write the numbers to be subtracted in vertical arrangement. Question. Subtract 4, 1. Given only two numbers, 4 and 1. Always write the bigger number at the top. Put a minus sign to its left. Write the smaller number below the bigger number. Here, write 4 first. Put a minus sign to its left as shown. Now, write the smaller number 1 below 4. Means, we have to subtract 1 from 4. Draw 4 dots. Now, score out 1 dot. Hence, 3 dots are remaining. So, answer is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Let us subtract orally by counting in our mind and then write the answer. Question. How many are left if we subtract 3 from 5? Solution. Note. How many left? How many remain? Take away. Give away are common words linked with subtraction. Since 3 and 5 are small numbers, we can calculate in our mind. Subtracting 3 from 5 means 5 minus 3. Think of 5 dots from them. We can see that only two dots remain. Hence, two is left if we subtract three from five. Question. Rani had six balls. She gave three to Hassan. How many are left with her? Solution. Gave away indicates we have to perform subtraction. Subtract the smaller number 3 from the bigger number 6. Draw 6 dot score out 3 dots. 3 dots remain. Hence, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. So the answer is, 3 balls are left with Rani. Question. Of the 10 plants in the garden, 7 are roses. The rest are lilies. So, how many lilies are there? 
solution. Total plants are 10. Number of roses plants are 7. Hence, number of lilies are 10 minus 7. Now, draw 10 dots. Score out 7 dots. Show that only 3 dots remain. That is, 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Hence, answer is, 7 lilies are there. Question. Given problem sums of subtraction, let's arrange the numbers vertically and then subtract. If Manu gave 7 beads out of 9 beads to Sonu, how many beads does Manu have now? Solution. Place the bigger number, 9 at the top. Put a minus sign to the left of 9. Write 7 below 9. Now, draw 9 dots. Score out 7 dots. 2 dots are remaining. Hence, 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. So, the answer is, Manu has two beads now. In horizontal arrangement, 9 minus 1 equals 8 is written as shown. In vertical arrangement, it is written as shown. If we are given two numbers, let's subtract them in vertical arrangement and then write in horizontal arrangement. 9 6. Write in vertical arrangement as shown. Draw 9 dots. 3 dots are remaining. Hence, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Write in horizontal arrangement as shown. 8. 5. See the vertical arrangement. Draw 8 dots. Score out 5 dots. 3 dots are remaining. Hence, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Write in horizontal arrangement as shown. Children, now let's understand the concept of 0 in subtraction. When we see 4 birds on a tree and all 4 fly away, no birds remain on the tree. All four birds flow away. Or we can say that zero birds remained. See on the screen alongside. That is, four minus four is equal to zero. If I had seven dots, and if I had to score out all seven dots, what remains? Not even one dot remains or what remains is zero. That is, seven minus seven is equal to zero. When we subtract zero from any number, the remainder is that number itself. For example, five minus zero is equal to five. Thirty-five minus zero is equal to thirty-five. 90 minus 0 is equal to 90 and so on. When we subtract 1 from any number, we get the remainder as the previous number. For example, 8 minus 1 is equal to 7, the number before 8. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, the number before 3. 15 minus 1 is equal to 14, the number before 15. 89 minus 1 is equal to 88, the number before 89. When we subtract the previous number from any number, we get the remainder as 1. For example, 9 minus 8 is equal to 1, where 
Eight is the number before nine. Five minus four is equal to one, where four is the number before five, and so on. We can solve the problem in other figures given, such as nine minus five is equal to four. Eight minus four is equal to four. Seven minus four is equal to three. Six minus three is equal to three, and nine minus six is equal to three. Eight minus five is equal to three. Seven minus four is equal to three. Six minus three is equal to three. One string of ten beads is shown, which is equal to one tenth. The three loose beads means three units. Now, let us open the string and loosen the ten beads. Now, the ten loose beads plus three loose beads is equal to thirteen loose beads. Thirteen loose beads is equal to thirteen units. Now, let us see how we can write three tens and four units as. See the figure alongside. There are three strings of ten beads each, and four loose beads. That is, three tens and four units. Now, let us open a string of ten beads so that we have ten more loose beads. There were already four loose beads. Thus, now there are two strings of ten beads each. Is equal to two tens, and fourteen loose beads is equal to fourteen units. Hence, three tens, four units, is equal to two tens, fourteen units. Let us see how we can write three tens as. Here, there are three strings of ten beads each, is equal to three tens. Let us open one string of ten beads. We now get ten loose beads and two strings of ten beads each, which is equal to two tens, ten units. Hence, three tens is equal to two tens, ten units. Look at the pictures. Write the proper number in the boxes. Here there are two strings of ten beads each and Four loose beads, which is equal to two tens, four units. This can be shown as one string of ten beads and fourteen loose beads is equal to one tens, fourteen units. Hence, two tens, four units is equal to one tens, fourteen units. Now, see the picture. Here there are. Three strings of ten beads each, and three loose beads, which is equal to three tens, three units. This can be shown as two strings of ten beads each, and thirteen loose beads, which is equal to two tens, thirteen units. Hence, three tens, three units is equal to two tens, thirteen units. Based on this concept of untying or opening the one string of ten beads, and considering the loose beads as units, let us now subtract by borrowing. Let us take a very simple example. Question: Sanika has two strings of ten beads and three more beads. She gave Javed eight beads. How many beads? Does she have now? Solution: Number of strings of ten beads Sanika has is equal to two strings of ten beads, which is equal to two tens. Number of loose beads Sanika has is equal to three loose beads, which is equal to three units. Number of beads Sanika has to give Javed. Is equal to eight loose beads, which is equal to eight units. Now, as shown earlier, 
let us loosen or unite one string of 10 beads that Sanika has. As she cannot give 8 beads out of 3 single beads to Javed. That is, she cannot subtract 8 units from 3 units. After untying one string of 10 beads, now 2 tens 3 units will become 1 tens 13 units. Now from these 13 units, Sanika can subtract 8 units. Draw 13 dots. Score out 8 dots. 5 dots remain. That is, 13 units minus 8 units is equal to 5 units. Add 1 string of 10 beads remains as it is is equal to 1 tens. Hence, we have 23 minus 8 is equal to 15. See the subtraction alongside. It is shown that 8 cannot be subtracted from 3 units. Hence, we borrow 1 tens from tens place digit. Hence, units place is equal to 1 tens plus 3 units is equal to 13 units. And tens place is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 tens. 13 units minus 8 is equal to 5 units written under units column and 1 tens is written as it is under tens column. 23 minus 8 is equal to 15. Let us solve other problems of subtraction. Question 54 minus 6. Solution Arrange the numbers vertically. In 6, there are no tens, only 6 units. So, we placed 6 under 4 in units column. 6 units cannot be subtracted from 4 units. Hence, we borrow 1 tens from tens place digit. Hence, tens place become 5 tens minus 1 tens is equal to 4 tens and Units place becomes 1 tens plus 4 units is equal to 14 units. Now, we can subtract 6 units from 14 units. Draw 14 dots. Score out 6 dots. 8 dots remain, which is equal to 8 units. Write 8 under units column. In tens place, we have 4 tens. Write 4 in tens column as it is. Hence, 54 minus 6 is equal to 48. Question 98 minus 9. Solution Arrange the numbers vertically. As there are no tens in 9, we have placed 9 units under 8 in units column. We cannot subtract 9 from 8 units. So, we borrow 1 tens from tens place digit. Hence, tens place becomes 9 tens minus 1 tens is equal to 8 tens. In units place, we have 1 tens plus 8 units which is equal to 18 units. Now, 18 units minus 9 units is equal to 9 units and 8 tenths is written as it is under tenths column. 98 minus 9 is equal to 89. Let us subtract a two-digit number from another two-digit number by borrowing. Question. Subtract 43 minus 28. Solution. Write the numbers in vertical arrangement. We always start from units place. In units place, we cannot subtract 8 units from 3 units. So, we borrow 1 tens from the tens place digit. Hence, in tens place, we now have 4 tens minus 1 tens is equal to 3 tens. In units place, we have 1 tens plus 3 units is equal to 
13 units. 13 units minus 8 units is equal to 5 units. Now, in tens place, we have 3 tens minus 2 tens is equal to 1 tens. As we can see, 43 minus 28 is equal to 15. Now, subtract 70 minus 18. Solution. Write the numbers in vertical arrangement. Starting from units place, we cannot subtract 8 units from 0 units. So, we borrow 1 tens from tens place digit. Now, in tens place, we have 7 tens minus 1 tens, which is equal to 6 tens. And in units place, we have 1 tens plus 0 units is equal to 10 units. Subtracting 10 units minus 8 units is equal to 2 units. Subtracting 6 tens minus 1 tens is equal to 5 tens. Hence, 70 minus 18 is equal to 52.